All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Janet Dufek, and I'm the Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the 2022 Faculty Length of, of Service Recognition Ceremony. This ceremony is held annually to recognize our outstanding colleagues that have dedicated 10, 20, 30, 40, and more years of service to UNLV. We thank you for your dedication, and we are honored to recognize you today for your amazing achievements. To our honorees today, you have been serving faithfully, and you have changed the landscape of UNLV, the Las Vegas Valley, and your contributions have helped to produce graduates that are changing the landscape of our community and the world. To kick off this event, I would like to welcome President Keith E. Whitfield to the podium. Good afternoon. Is it me or the second time around is better? I'm sorry. Um, it really is a pleasure to be here to welcome you to the 2022 Faculty Length of Service Awards. Thank you for joining us today and to, the, and to Faculty Affairs, for Janet in particular, for the work in helping us recognize the achievements of our honorees. This is indeed a special occasion. It's, it's not often that we stop the incredible momentum and speed of this university to take a moment to thank the faculty and staff for the many years of service that you've devoted to this great university. I really want to thank you for your loyalty. I want to thank you for your commitment. I want to thank you for your dedication to this university. And if you think about it, I joined you in August of 2020. There was this little thing going on at the time Kind of, it was in the news, you might have seen it. Um, but that event, that pandemic, challenged everyone. It challenged leadership, it challenged our faculty, it challenged our staff to make sure that we kept the ship right. That we did what we are great at doing, which is educating people and creating a community. It's that collective strength and expertise that I truly believed help this university stay the course and achieve our educational, our research, and our service missions. Honestly, you all are an inspiration to me. I hope you're as proud as I am of how your contributions have shaped this university to become what it is today. I always find it fascinating when I, 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 I met one of our very generous donors the other day, and they were telling me the story about how they got involved with the university. It is always inspiring, and that it's folks like you who have stayed dedicated, stayed the path, and continue to do great things of why people want to stay connected to this university. I want to congratulate all of today's honorees on achieving a significant milestone in your career, whatever that may be, and I look forward to partnering with you to continue to move this university forward. Now, I have a bit of a reputation, you know, people give me these wonderful things to read and I just say whatever I want to say for the most part. Um, I have to be careful of that because it could just go horribly, horribly wrong. But um, it is nice that um, I can take a little bit of privilege. Um, there's this, Janet's done so much to have this wonderfully organized, you know, experience for you all, but I'm going to muck it up just a little bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of privilege um, and actually uh, give special mention and to provide award for somebody that you all have known for 30 years here, and that is Provost Chris Heavey. Chris, if you come forward. So, um, it is very interesting. So when I got here, I'm looking at what, what is here at this university, and we've got this interim provost. And I'm like, yeah, but you're supposed to, you're the new guy, you come in, you kick down doors and you knock everything around. And I start talking to this guy, and he's like, well, you know, a couple of years, I'll, I've been here for 30, 30 years. Here for 30 years? He's like, yeah, so I go, well, send me your CV. So he sends me a CV, and he's got all of these, you know, great accolades, credible leadership he's done, but I'm looking for the date. At that time, it wasn't 30 years, but it was close. 
And his institutional knowledge has been something that has absolutely been critical to all of the goofy things that I ask you to do. So yeah, blame him. <laughs> um, but this is the perfect example of why we're here today, of someone who has stayed dedicated to not only just being here, but educating students, providing leadership, providing vision, providing direction. Chris has been doing all of that. And for that, I thank you very, very much. So whether you've been a part of the Rebel family for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years or more, each and every one of you has played a role in the success of this great university. And this university has been successful. If you're not reading Rebel today, if you're not reading Rebel Impact, you need to. There's more and more and more. There is an absolute momentum to this university that is built on the contributions that you all make. So thank you. Each and every one of us has played a role in the success of UNLV and to the positive impacts that we see in our students. Actually, I do want to comment because on the, get the dates right, 18th and 19th, 19th and 20th, it's graduation. If you don't have plans to go to graduation, let me encourage you to, but let me particularly encourage you to if you're tired. <laughs> I'm not going to ask how many people are tired in here because I know all of you all are. I know what you do. I know how hard you've been working. I know what you've been through. But if you come to graduation, you understand and you see there's always a couple of prime examples of the absolute pure joy that you have created. You have changed a life. You have changed a family. You've changed your community by the service that you have done in that student's life and beyond. So to all of you all, thank you very much. I do have to apologize. Um, I am sitting on a governor's board trying to represent UNLV, and I have to go to it. But I will be in here in spirit. I celebrate all of you all for your service. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, President Whitfield. And uh, I am absolutely delighted to be here with all of you today. Uh, honoring the contributions that we've collectively made to this university over such a long period of time. Um, I often uh, say that research universities are maybe the most special thing that's ever been created by humanity, bringing together the expertise that exists in the whole world into one place so that we can impart that knowledge into a new generation and send them on to do great things in the world. It's an incredibly special place and the boundaries of this place and all the physical capacity of it, but it's really the people that make it possible. It's all of you as the academic and the administrative faculty who bring your expertise and your passion to this physical space every day to help pass it on to the next generation so we can empower them and build a better community. So I'm delighted to be back in person with you. We've been a few years of pandemic remote and today we have some people watching. I didn't know people were gonna be watching. I was like, we're getting broadcast too, so I'm a little more nervous about that, but uh, we'll carry on for those in the remote audience, but delighted to be with those of you who can be here in person to celebrate these important milestones. And so I'm the person who gets to uh, have a walk down memory lane with you just to remind you of the decades uh, past about some of the things that were going on in the world and uh, on the campus in, in those years as we celebrate the uh, length of service of 200 people who have been here 10 years or more uh, and really celebrate the thousands of years of service that are collectively represented by the people in this room and all across this campus. And so we're going to start by recognizing those with 40 years of service. And so I wasn't here 40 years ago, but if you did show up on campus 40 years ago, Pat Goodall was a university president. I was able to meet him when I came here, and he was a terrific person. We were in the Big West Athletic Conference, and Jerry Tarkanian was the head coach of the Runnin' Rebels. They won their first 24 games of the season and captured the regu regular season conference title, beating Fresno State. They went to the NC2A tournament, which is uh, something we'd love to do again in the not too distant future, hopefully, and go Rebels this year, huh? Off to a great start. Uh, but they lost in the second round in that year. Altaham Fine Arts and Frank and Estella Beam Hall were completed. 
Both buildings are still a big part of our campus, but maybe a few years uh, uh, older, you know, now. Um, Walter Cronkite actually came to campus to uh, be a speaker at our esteemed Barris, Barrick Lecture Series, and he was the most trusted man on earth, which is uh, something that's quite an anomaly now, where a newscaster was the most trusted man on earth. But uh, those were other days. We gave out 1,200 degrees, and we had 11,400 students back then. Going on around the country, E.T. was released, still my wife's favorite movie, I'm pretty sure. Uh, David Letterman uh, debuted Late Night, so we've seen that come and go, but the Weather Channel started, and that is still uh, live and kicking. Uh, rent was $320 a month on average, and a dollar, a dollar and 28 cents would get you a gallon of gas, which I know we would all celebrate today. And Time Magazine honored its first non-human as person of the year, and it was the computer, and those are definitely kicking still as well, huh? And computer scientist uh, Scott Fallman introduced the first emoji back then, and those were a big part of my, uh, my lexicon now. So those came with us. And then 30 years ago, we came in 1992, and I get to see some of the people I joined with uh, in 1992. We got to meet Bob Maxson as our university president. He didn't last long. He was only there for that one year because Jerry Tarkanian had already coached his final game and maybe there was some connection between Bob Maxson leaving and Jerry Tarkanian not being the coach anymore, but we won't get into that history. Um, Frank uh, and Vicky Fertitta uh, opened their tennis complex here on campus. The Rod Lee Bigelow Health Sciences Building uh, opened up to be the uh, home for the College of Health Sciences. Gene Neidich Women's Center was started with a gift from that group. Warren Shute won the NC2A Individual Men's Golf Championship. We gave out our first PhD award. And you know the department? English. 1992, English was our first PhD awarded on campus, and now we award uh, more than 100. We actually awarded more than 200 PhDs in the last year. And at that point, we had 19,000 students. So we were on the growth trajectory that would continue for still to the present day, really. Bill Clinton was elected uh, after defeating George Bush. Microsoft Windows 3.1, so that's uh, still around and with us. Cartoon Network was established back then. The Russian Federation took over for the Soviet Union back then, and the uh, Winter Olympics, Summer Olympics were in Barcelona, Spain. So I remember that was 1992, a good year. 20 years of service in 2002, Carol Harder was a university president then. We were still experiencing a tremendous growth and we had nine and a half percent increase over the previous year in our incoming class. I think that still might be a record growth in one year. Um, we opened the new parking garage, which just got remodeled last year. It had 1,600 spaces and now we've both expanded it and really upgraded the look of that. So uh, our first major parking garage on campus. We had a major gift from the Greenspuns to uh, build Greenspun Hall, which is probably now the most iconic image on campus of the beautiful UNLV sign of Greenspun Hall, and that's such a great facility for the campus. Uh, and if some might remember that uh, George Bush nominated law school professor Jay Bybee to go become a part of the administration with working with Attorney General John Ashcroft. I know that uh, Jay Bybee's kids were actually in my wife's school back then, and so she said goodbye to the Bybee family just like our campus did. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security was uh, created back then. You might not remember that that was a little bit of the aftermath of 9-11. Jimmy, Jimmy Carter was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The Winter Olympics were in Salt Lake City. Uh, so that was uh, our senator's uh, great work. Beautiful Mind was the best picture. Haley Berry became the first black actress to win the Academy Award for Best Actress. American Idol started and lasted for many years. The average cost of a house was $187,000, which is a uh, little, seems like a great bargain these days. And a gallon of gas still only cost $1.36. Can you believe that? But no, now, 10 years ago, joining us in 2012, Neil Smatris was our president. We were coming off of the Great Recession, which was a difficult time for the campus, and we all remember some of those challenging days, everyone was, who was here. 
The U.S. News and World Report named UNLV the 12th most popular university in the nation based on our enrollment yield because the vast majority of students who were accepted to UNLV came into UNLV and at that point we were the eighth most diverse institution in the country. We've continued to climb in our diversity rankings and I know we're all proud of that. We established our Office of Economic Development in the Division of Research and Graduate Studies and high profile visitors included Steve Forbes and political satirist Mark Russell as part of the Barrick Lecture Series which continues to bring in great people. Uh, Bill Clinton visited campus as part of the UNLV Foundation annual dinner and Barack Obama was also here en route to his re-election. So those were some great times on the campus. We had a 9-0 decision from the Supreme Court that con consumers can sue federal, can sue telemarketers for abusive calls. That doesn't seem to have worked very well, <laughs> but I guess they tried. Facebook reached a billion users. The Summer Olympics were in London, and Gangnam Style was the latest pop culture craze, and that still seems to be going well, and gas was getting more like we know it today at $3.80 a gallon. So the years have marched on, but the one thing that's been consistent over this time is that we've had a great group of people totally committed to the well-being of this community and our faculty and uh, our students and our, our faculty and staff. So we want to acknowledge them. We want to uh, especially acknowledge uh, some of our longest serving faculty members. And so we've said uh, goodbye to uh, Sadna and Verma who retired this past summer. And so now Satish Bhatnagar is our longest serving faculty member, a professor of mathematics of 48 years. So. 48 years, and I think he just told me he's hoping to get to 50. That's the plan. So thank you for your decades of service. That is amazing. And uh, I'm really happy to announce that the second longest serving member of our campus community is my dear friend and colleague from the Department of Psychology, Dr. Russell Hurlberg, at 46 years of service. And at 45 years, right behind Russ, is David Christensen, associate professor in the Department of Hospitality. So I just want to say thank you to those three individuals and their decades of service, but really to everybody who makes this such a special place. What we do is incredibly important in the lives of our students and this community, and it's because of the people that it works as well as it does. So thank you, and now I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Dr. Janet Dufek, for the actual recognition and passing out of the awards. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Seavey. Appreciate that. And uh, it's a great trip down memory, memory lane. Thanks for that. Now let's address our honorees. As the provost mentioned, 10 years ago, the campus was emerging from the 2008 recession. And that's what approximately 120 folks that are celebrating a decade of service were experiencing when they were working at UNLV. If you are celebrating 10 years of service, please stand as a group to be recognized. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service, and you may be seated. Thank you. Now let's turn to colleagues who are celebrating 20 years of service. This year, there are about 50 colleagues celebrating this impressive milestone. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Abigail Aguilar, an associate professor in residence with philosophy department. Uh, she enjoys having a positive lifetime influence on our students through her teaching and sharing her love of baseball with their colleagues. Chad Hensley, Chad, I know you're here, professor, uh, senior lecturer in the, in, and director of radiology in the School of Integrated Health Sciences. He is proud of the part that the radiology program has had in its long history of producing leaders in the field. Thank you, Chad. Carl, Carl Kingsley. Carl Kingsley is a professor in the School of Dental Medicine. 
was one of the original cohorts of faculty in the School of Dental Medicine, and for him, teaching and mentoring students has been his favorite part of working at UNLV. Thank you. <laughs> Sashi Numbishan is a professor and director of the Transportation Research Center. Over the years, he has enjoyed many opportunities to make a difference. He has made such a difference that, in fact, January 31st, 2007, was proclaimed by the governor as Sashi Nam Nambisan Day for his leadership and contributions to the state. Thank you very much, Sashi. Eduardo Roblito is a professor in the College of Sciences, and he reports that mentoring students... <laughs> Whoa, way to go, Eduardo. <laughs> mentoring students, modeling students, student modeling, right? Uh, he's proud to have been a part of uh, working in STEM, and has been working in STEM, interestingly, for the past 16 years, he's been part of a team that supports NSF-funded undergraduate research. And it's the only one in the state of Nevada. Thank you, Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo's supervisor, Frank Van Brooklyn, is also celebrating 20 years of service. And he is the director of, life, of the Life Sciences Department. He is proud to have been part of UNLV's transition to a research university and also to be grant funded since he began his employment at UNLV, except for one week in 2015. That is awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> William Davenport is the executive associate dean in the School of Dental Medicine. He reports that living in the Las Vegas community and being on the ground floor of the School of Dental Medicine as part of his best times working at UNLV. Adam Garcia, Vice President for Public Safety, Safety Services, and Director of Police Services. He says that his favorite part of working at UNLV has been the awesome people. He is continually floored by the kind, kindness work, and professionalism of the people that he works with every day. Carl Gatson is the budget coordinator and has seen a lot of growth at UNLV. From hanging out near Artemis Ham Hall while his father completed his degree to raising his now adult children, he has been on our front lines of tremendous growth throughout the years. Thank you. Emily Lynn is the Associate Dean in the Graduate College. For her, it's been amazing and inspiring to work with the diverse communities and amazingly diverse communities of students and faculty. Di Fanord, excuse me, Fanord is a professor in the College of Sciences who helped to establish the PhD program in Mathematical Sciences. Javier Rodriguez, Professor of Biology, he has served in various roles and at different levels at the university. He appreciates his interactions with undergraduate and graduate students. Diane Zagorski, Director of Educational Talent Search. Let's see. Uh, sorry, Diane. She has been with the Center for Academic Enrichment and Outreach for all of her 20 years. Over this time, they have grown from two ETS grants to six ETS grants. Thank you very much. And finally, Bo Bernhardt, Vice President of Economic Development. Interestingly, Bo has been at UNLV, at UNLV since he's been on this planet. And that, that is because his parents were co-leaders of UNLV's first upward bo first Upward Bound program, and his mother was actually pregnant with him when they lived in Tonopah Hall. 
So he learned to swim on campus, had trumpet lessons at Ham Hall, attended summer camp on campus, hit two home runs at the baseball stadium, and earned his master's and doctorate from UNLV. It's too bad I didn't know it or we could have done some trumpet duets. <laughs> so if you are celebrating 20 years of service and I, I did not call your name, please stand to be recognized. I believe we have a microphone where we're going to uh, introduce each of you. We've got some runners here, and uh, if you would state your name and your academic affiliation, and what particular event or memory you have from your 20 years. Go ahead. Over here, Allison. Delisle? Delisle? There are a bunch of them here. Pride, great pride in helping our and seeing our diverse students, especially our first gen students, uh, progress, making a difference in their lives and in the lives of generations to come. Who else? Hello, I'm Dave Flo. I'm the director of the Division of Jazz and Commercial Music in the School of Music, and uh, it's been a pleasure to be here for 20 years. And, uh, there's so many things to, uh, to be proud of, but the, the student accomplishments have just been phenomenal. And just this past year, our CD, which is available for you if you still have CD players, <laughs> but, uh, we, we turned it into the Grammys. Uh, and we, were, uh, we received recognition in the Grammy for your consideration category. We didn't get to the nominations, but UNLV was only one of two universities worldwide that was in that category along with the Count Basies and the other large ensembles. So that was uh, quite an accomplishment for our students and I'm really proud of that, thanks. Thank you all for your service and for the 20 year service uh, awardees we have medallions for each of you and they'll be at the awards table in the lobby uh, as you exit the ceremony today please stop and pick one up all right the next group I would like to recognize has been part of the UNLV family for 30 years there are 12 honorees this year including Provost TV which uh, President Whitfield acknowledged earlier Thank you. Uh, as I call your name, please come forward to receive your medallion. But I don't have any medallions. OK, all right, thank you. Alice Corkill, Chair of Educational Psychology, Leadership, and Higher Education within the College of Education. I can't see if Alice is here or not. Louis Kavoris. Chair of the Department of Dance within the College of Fine Arts. Is Lewis here? 
Also, I believe, one of our longest serving department chairs. Von Kaldelebach, director of the Advising Center in the School of Integrated Health Sciences. There's Von. Congratulations, Vaughn. Yes. David Fott, professor of political science, who founded the Great Works Academic Certificate Program. And in his 30 years of service, he has never lived more than one mile from campus. <laughs> and Simon Gottschalk, professor of sociology, who recently re retired and also has been granted emeritus status. Uh, Helen Neal, Greenspun College of Urban Affairs. Helen. I don't want to be in the way here. So, <laughs> yeah, the light is so bright. It is so bright. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Helen. So Brendan O'Toole, Howard Hughes College of Engineering. Brendan? Here. Congratulations. Thank you. If you are celebrating 30 years of service and I did not call your name, please stand to be recognized. All right, thank you. This year, we have one colleague celebrating 40 years of service. Please stand to be recognized if you're here, Barry Bartow. I think he deserves it. Awesome. <laughs> Barry is a project specialist with UNLV Planning and Construction. He's been with UNLV since 1982, and I'm sure he has seen many changes to the campus in this position and we'd like to congratulate Barry. Now, 40 years is remarkable, but there are colleagues that have served even longer. If you're here in person, please stand as your name is called. Tony Arcatapine is our ninth longest serving colleague, celebrating 41 years of service. Is Tony here? I can't see. Uh, Bill Robinson and Larry Chin are the eighth and seventh longest serving colleagues, both celebrating 42 years of service. Ah, yes, very nice. I guess I should turn around. That's where all the uh, humor is, right? Back there. Our sixth and fifth longest serving colleagues are Rosalie Garcia and William Sol Sullivan, both serving 44 years of service. We had a shout out to some of these folks earlier, but let's give them uh, their credit as it is due. Uh, our fourth and third longest serving colleagues are Randall Sheldon and David Christensen. 45 years of service. And finally, the distinction of the longest serving faculty member goes to Satish Bhatnagar, 48 years. Wow. Let's hear it for these incredibly dedicated colleagues. Well, we hope you have fond memories of UNLV and its people, which have been part of your life and career for so many decades. Perhaps your next chapter of us will be a member of the Emeritus faculty, like 19 of our recently retired colleagues. Let's take a moment to recognize our colleagues granted this distinction over the past year. Before we end our program, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the colleagues that we've lost over this past year. We express our deepest condolences to the coworkers, friends, and loved ones of the colleagues that have passed away. We are grateful for their service to UNLV and the legacies that they leave behind.
I'd like to thank all of our honorees today, as well as our past honorees. Reading all of your submissions in preparation for this program, it is clear UNLV has had a profound impact on you and your families. Please know that you have also impacted UNLV, your colleagues, and especially the students that have been with us over the decades. We are honored to recognize you today, and we hope you will join us again next year to celebrate the dedication of your colleagues. You are all part of the UNLV legacy, the UNLV family, and we are honored to have you as role models and colleagues. We hope that you will treasure the tokens of appreciation for your years of service, and we encourage you to wear the pins and medallions at commen commencement and other signature events. We also hope, hope you will display your award proudly in your office or home. If you did not receive your milestone award during the ceremony, please see the award table in the lobby to pick up your award. I'd like to thank again uh, President Whitfield and Provost Heavey, and uh, make a correction, statement of fact, as to something President Whitfield said earlier. It is not I who deserve the credit for this amazing celebration. It's the special shout out to the Ceremony Planning Committee who put this whole thing together. That includes Michelle Anderson, Delisle Bowen, Winnie David, and Allison Saul. Allison Saul. Thank you all for your dedication and hard work. Most of all, thank you again to our current honorees, past honorees, and those who attended today to help celebrate these lengths of service milestones. We truly appreciate your dedication and service to UNLV. Thank you for your attendance. I'd like to uh, invite you to share some of the food and beverages that we've provided and to mingle with your colleagues. Thank you again and have a great afternoon. <laughs>